Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to install Ubuntu Server onto your Mac. So we're gonna be running a program called VMware Fusion, which you can get off the internet. Uh, it can come with a trial version or you can actually pay for the full version, but it is a great program that lets you install various versions of Linux, of Windows, and of Mac onto your Mac and actually run them within your Mac, essentially at the same time. So we're downloading uh, the 5.15.10 ISO off the Ubuntu website. So if you just navigate to the Ubuntu website, website just by going to Google and searching for Ubuntu, uh, you'll be able to download that latest server edition. All right, so once you've got that ISO, you wanna open up VMware Fusion. You'll be presented with this screen right here. And we wanna say install from disk or image. Okay, and we click on continue. It's now gonna ask you for the installation disk or image. So we've got an image, which is this ISO file here. So we wanna go and navigate to it, which is on the desktop. And it's the server one. And open. That's then gonna add it into this list here. We're gonna click on continue. We're gonna put in some information in here. We'll, we'll say Ubuntu. Uh, the user is, you know, Ubuntu user and then we put in the password that we want as well. Continue. You can go ahead and customize some settings here if you want to. So this includes um, adding extra memory, adding extra RAM, um, you know, adding uh, uh, more hard drive capacity. You can increase the amount of CPUs that you have. So if we click on this, it's gonna ask us where to save it. So we're gonna save it into this virtual machines folder just here you'll see that there's a CentOS 64-bit and a Zen server VMware VM already, which is the virtual machine is what VM stands for. So we're essentially just gonna be saving it into the same spot uh, and that's what we're gonna be calling it, okay? So it's essentially gonna be taking up the hard drive space on your Mac as a VM, all right? Now in here, we can customize those settings that we were talking about. So add more memory or RAM, okay? Increase that, we've got one gig by default. You can give it more gig by default um, this is going to be using um, your processor and your memory from your Mac. Okay, so if you've if you've got, you know, 10 gig, for example, 10 gig of, of RAM, um, then you can only allocate up to nine and a bit. Okay, because you do need some RAM for your Mac. So don't allocate too much because the more you allocate, if you're running um, Ubuntu at the same time, your Mac will potentially run a bit slower. So we're just going to leave it for a standard for now. Okay. Finish that. Once that's done, we click on this big play button and that is now going to boot that ISO. All right, so it's gonna load all the boot strap setting stuff and we'll, pre and we'll be presented shortly with the Ubuntu login screen and then the installation will commence from there. So that install is now finished and you're presented with the standard Ubuntu login screen, okay? Where you can just log in with the credentials that we provided before, okay? And there we go. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.